Welcome to the Light Equipment for Making Videos course of the Video Teach project. During this course you will be introduced to the lighting hardware and tips on DIY lighting with home material. Great lighting is important if you want people to watch your videos from start to finish. Viewers want to be able to see you clearly. Natural light works great, and it's cheap, so if it is possible you might want to consider making videos outside. Of course, not every type of video is suited to the outdoors. Unfortunately, it is unlikely you will be able to get good quality light from the lamps and ceiling lights in your home. But natural light is. So one way you can get around needing a lot of lighting equipment is to use a window as your main light. This is not always possible though. If you are going to make a video from inside your house then there is a good chance you will need to invest in some lighting equipment. The natural light sources are often not powerful enough to light a scene you're trying to capture. The solution is to use artificial lighting. Even if you want the light in your video to be completely natural, you still have to figure out a way to get rid of shadows, which brings us to different types of lighting equipment that can be used. One of the solutions is to use softbox lights. These natural light emulators mimic the natural light by using diffusion panels to make the light look softer and less artificial. Softbox lights enable you to direct light to the exact spot in the shot. Softboxes are available in all shapes and sizes at very reasonable prices. The umbrella lights provide a much broader source of light than the softbox lights and they are frequently used to light the entire scene. They are portable and handy in case you often shoot in different locations. Ring lights are a great option whenever you need to have the subject of the video perfectly lit. These circular lights have recorders mounted in the center, so the camera's point of view is identical to the direction from which the light is coming. Good lighting equipment should feature adjustable beam spread. Your equipment should allow you to control how wide the light is spreading. This is useful when you want to light just one subject and keep the rest in the dark. Adjustable height of the light stand. Most lighting kits include stands, but not all stands allow you to change the height. This can limit your options on the set, which is why you need to check if the stand is adjustable. Portability. If you are planning on shooting at a different location every day then portability becomes something you simply must consider. All about reflectors, diffusers. White reflectors are used to simply bounce light. Silver reflectors make light a bit colder looking, and gold reflectors give things a slightly warmer, more glamorous, look. Black and translucent reflectors are not really for bouncing light. They block light, which is useful if you are trying to only light you and not everything behind you. The translucent reflector is actually a diffuser that is usually set up between you and your main light to make it easier on your eyes. The most common technique of lighting a scene is called three-point lighting. It involves three different sources of light in the shot. The brightest source of light, also known as the key light needs to be high quality. A window will work, but if you do not have access to one where you are filming then consider an LED panel light or a softbox light. This first light will create a dramatic shadow across half of your face. You want to reduce it, but not get rid of it completely. Rather than setting up another light source on the opposite side of the camera, put up a reflector to bounce some light back onto your face. This reflector is called the fill light. It is less bright than the primary one and it is placed on the side opposite to the key light. Its purpose is to reduce shadows produced by the key light. The reflector should be mounted on a stand. The final step is to set up backlight. It will help you stand out from your background. The backlight is always placed behind and above the subject to create a separation between the subject in the shot and the background. Here are some DIY tips on how to make your own lighting kit from material in your home. First stop is the obvious one, clamp lights. They are very cheap and you can find them in almost every hardware store, home improvement retail store, and others. To change up the style of the light you can use different bulbs, different voltage, daylight bulb, frosted glass bulb, clear glass bulb or power bulb, each is going to give you a different look. If you want to get some color to your bulbs, just grab some high heat paint and spray paint the bulbs. You can do that instead of having lighting gels, which are used as filters to correct color and lighting issues. One can of paint can cover a lot of bulbs. Next is the paper lantern lamp, which is very cheap, and again available in most home improvement stores or online. You can hang it wherever you want. It is a nice soft light that is easily portable and moved through the shot if the subject of your video is moving. Materials you can use to make light diffusers, parchment paper. One thing to consider when creating your DIY light diffuser is what material will work best with the light source. This is important if you are using non-LED lights that produce quite a bit of heat. Parchment paper is great at diffusing light and handling high amounts of heat. 
If you want an extremely soft lighting aesthetic, use a frosted shower curtain. The semi-translucent material makes diffuse light and provides a large diffusing surface area. Next on our list is something you might not even need to go out to buy, a white bed sheet. A thin white bed sheet can be the perfect material to diffuse light softly into your scene. As the last, shears, which are essentially lightweight fabrics that are meant to go over windows to soften the lighting. This makes it the perfect material for a homemade light diffuser. You can also make a DIY light reflector. You need just scissors, cardboard from a large cardboard box, aluminium foil and masking tape. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the Project Videoteach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.